Hi everyone, I wanted to touch base with you and follow up from last week's uh, professional development half day. Many of you when I came around to your working groups were questioning how we can achieve rigor through an online math instruction, which is a valid question and really brings up an important topic and conversation in which we can help each other determine and figure out how we can increase that rigor uh, by utilizing all the tools at our fingertips and our best teaching practices that we have in our own toolkit. In terms of thoughtful work, which is one of the indicators on the rigor rubric, an example would be choice boards or presenting through technology, having a student present a PowerPoint or talking through a Google slide with his group on a WebEx, reteaching. Um, and sharing their learning in their own way. So oftentimes you are doing this, it's just identifying that this is a rigorous way that you are having the students do thoughtful work and completing thoughtful work. Higher level questioning. We had a big discussion about this at one group when I uh, touched base with them because on the WebEx, we do feel uh, that conversation, that rich conversation that we get from a classroom being all together is really lacking, and that is true. So how can we carefully plan our questions for the lesson, have them be open-ended, maybe provide it through an exit ticket, uh, put them in breakout rooms and jigsaw, Padlet, Jamboard, that's easier for some of our older students, um, allowing them the opportunity uh, to chat on a, a document such as a Jamboard or something like that so that they can have that conversation back and forth. It is not going to replace what could happen in the classroom, but it is a way to have that higher level questioning and thinking occur. And uh, this leads right into academic discussion, like I said. Um, we're struggling when we are providing WebExes to students to have that rich discussion. And once again, that's where the breakout rooms, having any response slides, or even doing a WebEx after a skill practice. So you could have them working independently on a skill practice or um, thinking about a question that you have posed and then simply schedule a WebEx to meet with those students and have that conversation online um, at, in a very structured way. Once again, we're not replacing the uh, instruction and the conversation that they could have in person, but we are uh, taking that online learning up a notch. So these are some ideas for you. These are some ideas that I know many of you are already doing. So if you are wondering, are, are you being rigorous enough with your online instruction? Yes, I believe you are, and here are ways that you can identify that and really uh, bring it out in your planning and your teaching. So thank you, and have a great day.